Hello and welcome to yet another live session in this particular channel of Technofunda Investing. In this channel, what we are going to discuss today is something crazy, okay, which is very, very important principle for your investing. So let me ask all of you, how many of you eat Pani Puri? If you eat, uh, eat Pani Puri, just type me in the comment box, okay? So now think about this, you know, there is a Raju Bhaiya who is uh, selling this Pani Puri. And he's making crazy sale, you know, a lot of people are eating and it's crowded and he's able to charge, say, 20, 30 rupees for that Pani Puri. What will happen? Just think about it. The next thing that will happen is a lot of competition will come in. A lot of other Pani Puri wala will, will stand in the queue and they will start selling Pani Puri. Maybe somebody will start, at, uh, start selling at a cheaper price. Why does that happen? Because of one factor which is modes which we are going to understand which is also called competitive advantages right but before we go deep into this let me tell you that this uh, particular session is sponsored by small case and they've been helpful to promote financial uh, literacy in this country and thanks to them we are able to come out with this video as well okay so let's understand what are these modes okay the modes are basically very very simple have you seen a traditional castle maybe on in movie or somewhere if you have gone to a tourist destination this is what a castle look like and the moat word is derived from this castle which is surrounding area around this castle if you can see there are like water pools and a lot of you know difficult land and there is only one bridge which is there connecting between the land and this castle. This is what is moat. It is what that protects this castle from the enemies right. If, if uh, they want they can pull up this uh, entire uh, bridge and no enemy can enter and even in the water there are crocodiles and piranha and a lot of dangerous animals and, and water bodies which are kept inside so that enemies cannot enter this castle and the same analogy goes for businesses if if you want to actually buy businesses which are really strong which are protected by these kind of moats or competitive advantages that is where you make a lot of money and compounding right otherwise what happens is these are the businesses like uh, you know honeybees like it is like a honey where lot of competition comes in and all these honeybees comes in to attack that pot of honey and that is what we are going to learn in this particular session we are going to deep dive into it and we are going to take so many case studies so that this entire concept become super powerful and ingrained in your investing journey so if you are all ready for deep dive into this are you all ready for with with your notes just go for it and uh, let's deep dive into this yeah let's go into this awesome so now we are going to do a lot of in-depth stuff and hope you are taking notes i'm vivek mashrani and i am a techno funda investing specialist i have you know helped more than 5000 people go deeper into their investing journey and create a lot of wealth for them so that is me and uh, let's go into the slides okay let me share the screen and let's go deeper into this concept so the first principle you want to think about is whether just making crazy money or just earnings growth is enough or not the answer is not because what will happen as I showed you in the case of Pani Puriwala that if you are making a lot of money, you are doing a lot of profits, then competition will come, come in. Okay, so either your profitability will go for a toss or you might need to even shut down your shop if you are not able to compete because competition is a crazy thing in the capitalism and unless you are protected by some factor where you can do your business profitably over a long period of time, you are not able to compound that particular business okay so the idea of the investing process should be to find such businesses where you can compound for a long time and you are protected by some kind of advantages some kind of moats around your business that is the key to it okay so let's go deeper into it and let's learn from philip fisher okay and he has beautifully said this entire example the honey example with a you know hungry insects or bee which is coming up 
that the profit margins can be compared to an open jar of honey you know uh, which is owned by a prospering company and the honey will invariably attract a swarm of hungry insects bent on devouring it there are only two ways to protect my friends the first thing is to you know just create a artificial monopoly which is illegal and the other way is to become so efficient so competent having so many kind of competitive advantages that there is no incentive for somebody else to jump in right so you create so much tough competition for your competitor that even if they attack they are not able to go deeper into your zone okay so are you ready for what are the kinds of these competitive advantages which you should be looking for and uh, then we will do detailed case study on this if you are all super ready with this just type ready in the comment box let's go deeper into this okay so we are doing a lot of practical stuff here i'll also show uh, you know in depth how you can also blend technicals fundamentals how you can look at financials what are key elements you should look into this business and we are going to discuss eight you know stock ideas or case studies which you can learn this concept from and then it will be super clear for all of you okay so let's go into this and let's jump into the types of the moats or the competitive advantages right so the first common form of moat is strong brand if if your company has a very strong brand what happens is when somebody the consumer or the customer thinks about it you automatically connect you know that ramu kaka's pani puri or rocking ranjita's vada pav okay so you basically connect very deeply with that brand and then that deters the competition the second is high switching cost what what is meant by high switching cost if you make it so difficult from for somebody or your customer to switch from one product to another that is called switching cost like that happens in lot of addictive substances like uh, you know coffee you don't like another coffee taste immediately or if you are regular drink regularly drinking a particular brand of tea you tea you don't you know immediately switch to something else if you are drinking a particular uh, wine or or you know beer you don't easily switch if you are using a particular software right accounting softwares or uh, if you are using a ecosystem like a macbook or ios system it is very difficult to switch to other systems okay so that is where it is so much of pain either in terms of time or energy or money to switch to something else that is called as switching cost okay if you are clear with switching cost just type sc switching cost in the comment box okay so that i know you are you are clear and you are getting it then there is a concept called network effects what are network effects it's like you know any additional uh, you know customer that comes in uh, that particular ecosystem it creates more you know happier or beneficiary environment for all other customer think about you know systems like facebook or whatsapp one more new friend who comes into the whatsapp ecosystem it's better for you right you you basically are incrementally getting more value out of that platform by having your familiar customer inside that ecosystem same way if your friends comes on you know facebook you are more incrementally alive same way you know in youtube like what you are watching right now if more and more people are coming and watching it will give incentive to more and more people for me who wants to help uh, you know a lot of investors and same way if more and more people like me come to help more and more investors more and more you know people wants to see it this is also called network effects okay so there are there is uh, the demand also increases and the supply also increases and that creates a network effect okay so that is a uh, network effect for all of you then we'll go to one more uh, very powerful advantage which is a low cost advantage so imagine that the uh, raju chacha who was selling that pani puri initially what we saw in the video if he is able to sell at say 5 rupees a plate and their competitors are not even able to produce a plate for 5 rupees okay so what will happen there is no competition right if if that competitor tries and you know sell it at 5 rupees he will go bankrupt he will go out of the business so you become so much efficient and produce something at a so cheap low cost that your competitor cannot even touch you okay then you have economies of scale you produce goods at so much uh, bigger scale so that you have advantages of supply chain you are probably also selling at a low cost 
and your competitor will find it so much difficult to enter and the sixth one is like patents and ip or even some kind of exclusivity where by law or by by government mandate you are protected by the entire ecosystem so no competitor can enter even if they know how to produce it because you might be having a patent or you might be having an intellectual property or you might have exclusive rights to do something in that particular uh, space where you are operating in your business okay so th these are six kind of modes now the question is you know everyone can relate to all these points these are very simple points to relate but then how to go deep dive and try to understand from the businesses right how to actually identify them and how to determine whether these are genuine competitive advantages or it can be breached are all of you ready to know how to find these modes and and what are the traits of some of these companies who show the signs of excellent competitive advantages or economic modes Okay, so let's go deeper into this. And if you are not following me on Twitter, just go to Mashrani Vivek and check it out. I share a lot of content out there also. So let me just uh, go to the first example. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to do case studies. Okay, and and uh, one thing which you need to know also is just this slide, where all these competitive advantages ultimately convert into high profitability. right because if you are having some speciality you can charge your own price you can still have your customer coming to you again and again and that results in your profits earning super normal returns more than the cost of capital okay so i've i've covered different ratio analysis elsewhere you can watch that later but this is also a very important point now let's jump into some of the case study and this is a quick uh, disclaimer you know i'm not a sebi registered uh, you know research analyst and these are you know quick disclaimer i might be holding some of the companies which i am uh, talking about because i do what i preach and uh, i am having full skin in the game in terms of what i understand and learn about business to execute and implement that as well okay so let's start with the first business okay the first business which is a case study of a strong brand competitive advantage or a brown brand moat this is called as pedilite how many of you no various brands of pedilite like when i tell about pedilite what comes into your mind can you relate pedilite with fevicol fevistec or even um, fevicquick and uh, doctor fix it mseal how many of you ask for fevicol or you say you know i want adhesive how many of you do that right if you want uh, adhesive do you go and ask that i want adhesive or you say i want fevicol or when you want a glue stick you say i want fevistic or you say i want a glue stick or when you need need a very fast uh, adhesive you say you know i want fevicquick or you say i need a instant uh, you know you know sticky substance or when you want to uh, you know repair your leakages do you sell uh, say you know i want mseal or you say something else okay i don't even know what to tell that okay so that is the power of brands okay because that like you don't say i i want to search something you say i want to google it that's the brand okay where where it is synonymous with the product and uh, and you are not even able to recognize it like xerox yes absolutely we can prasan uh yes awesome fevicol yes absolutely so all of you are able to recognize that is how deeply penetrated these brands are now if you think about the business what they are doing they are market leader in adhesives you know most of these adhesives are synonymous as i said like fevicol fevicquick fevistic doctor fix it mseal all these are strong brands and because of that brand moat what they are able to do is it's a classic example of buying commodities and selling brands so when you buy a com all the adhesives are basically commodities right these are all low end chemicals there is nothing special about it anyone can make it but because of the brand they are able to charge premium and because of the premium they are able to earn super normal profits with a great margins over a year on year on year basis and that's why it is a debt free company having excellent return ratios and they are capturing almost 70% of adhesives 
market share isn't it crazy just type crazy in the comment box now i'll i'll tell you how practically to look at so now you know what I've, i'm showing is the ratio analysis of pedilite okay and i'll tell you how to get this excel but just let's uh, focus on this so if you see pedilite is able to operate at a margins of more than 15 to 20% in in terms of their operating margins and their net profit margins net profit margin guys is is around like 10 to 15% year on year on year for so many years okay if you if you go back to their history so many years they have been able to do that so this is what signifies so if you want to find modes first thing to look at is whether the operating margins are higher if it is like 1 or 2% 3% operating margins that means they are uh, having tough times in tackling the competition then you can also check receivable days like those who are able to command of in their supply chain with the better pricing power their receivable days are generally much much lower again this needs to be compared within the industry but this is what you will see as a trade and most of these companies because they are profitable revenue generating free cash flow generating operating cash flow generating businesses you will find most of these companies are generally debt free and in terms of return ratio again crazy return ratios right so you will have like roe is about 15 20% roc is about 15 20% and that is what shows that they are really really powerful in what they are doing for years years together and you can also see this ratio of reinvestment how much capital they are able to reinvest in their business that shows that they are able to not only sustain that kind of profitability but they are able to also grow with this kind of profitability how many of you are able to relate this and understand this another thing which you need to also see like we, what i keep telling is like just like these businesses which has competitive advantages you as an investor should also have competitive advantage so if everyone is looking at fundamental analysis ratios and everything you will not get any edge amongst other investors so that's where what i do is i also add a layer of technical analysis where i look for strength i look for a long term trend i also look for a lot of you know optimize entry and exits so that we also get a competitive advantage versus other investors right and an easiest way to look at is like this okay so this is a very easy trick if you want to find you just go to the monthly charts in your technical analysis and i'll just show show you the chart you can just go to a, any monthly chart and just open a long term chart okay don't go into short term chart like you will see a crazy compounding long term trend like pedilite has a long term trend like this 45 degree for almost 10 years and right now when the market is still not at all time high these guys are already you know touching almost all time high this is what signifies that the stock is also having strength not only just fundamentally but also in terms of demand also and that is where you can also optimize your compounding and your growth journey how many of you didn't know that you can also do these kind of stuff and and you know learn both the things and get competitive advantage versus your other peers or investors who are also doing the same thing okay so the, this is the first company we are going slightly slow we'll accelerate but hope you are enjoying it and you are not minding spending time with me because what you are learning is just gold mine of investing okay once you learn these principles and once you start implementing this you will be like literally unstoppable okay so let's go to the second business which is nestle india okay nestle india is again a very very powerful brand all of you might be again knowing how many of you ask for noodles or you ask for maggi how many of you ask for like uh, kit kat directly how many of you ask for uh, you know nest uh, you know ever every day milk powder okay all these are strong strong brands cerelac all these are super amazing powerful brands okay so that is what nestle has created and let me show you what all things it does in terms of uh, business okay so let's let's go about it so it's again a market leader operating in milk and nutrition segment beverages cooking aids chocolate and confectionery segments 
and prominent brands are lecto grow care grow nescafe maggi milky bar lot of which i i show you and it's undisputed leader in many categories like infant formulations okay it has 96% market share in infant cereals market and 69% market share in maggi or instant pasta or noodles whatever you you want to tell it and that's what we can connect with the slide where i showed the philip fisher uh, you know quote that creating a monopoly illegally is is a is a crime but you can create monopolies by these strong competitive advantages and nestle india is one of the monopolies in their own segment okay so that is how you basically wither the competition and if you want to learn more about monopoly and how these are created there is a video which i have created some time back i also discuss 10 powerful ideas in terms of which all companies are monopoly and how you can also benefit of it okay so do that analysis watch that video whenever you want to but keep these traits in mind which i told you okay these are the powerful traits which you need to know and also you will have a trait of uh, ROC and operating margins and all the ratios which I talked to you about if you want to also learn deeper on these ratios I have also created a special video which is called must know financial ratios so you can check it out uh, this uh, link which I have posted and uh, you can also go about it okay now let's come to the third one third one is very powerful business again how many of you have heard about uh, bullet bikes that's right that's Aisher Motors for you and they have also released a new bullet bike called a uh, new classic RE350 and one of these model you know classic 350 was a you know breakthrough model in the entire journey of this company and and since 2009 i think they have compounded like crazy just because of uh, this one particular you know competitive advantage in terms of good brand as well as uh, producing super class world class product right and uh, and in my book which uh, i have written which is called uh, you can compound i have also gone deeper into types of these businesses you know so earnings growth versus roc the ratio which i was talking about and these businesses i talk to as about uh, banyan tree companies okay which are companies which can keep growing continuously because of their competitive advantages okay so this is the book which i have written like it's called you can compound you can go and check it out on amazon also and uh, i i've also created video because this sector is coming prominently currently in terms of the growth and the triggers and lot of things are happening in this sector so if you want to also know about uh, you know different companies in this sector you can go and check it out okay so this is aisher motors in brief for you it's a market leading position uh, in royal enfield signature brand and it has been like uh, driven by intelligent uh, intelligent fanatic siddharth lal and they are also now doing lot of new launches and going global it is having 96% market share in the mid market segment of the bikes between 250 cc to 750 cc that is what i was talking about right these companies literally create monopoly where competition is not able to even touch them okay like java and ktm and harley davidson lot of these companies are there but these guys have been like staying strong because of the competitive advantage and the brand recognition and the kind of product they are building okay so that is what is uh, Aisher Motors and let me show you the Excel side of it because I want to go deeper and that's why guys I'm just uh, sharing uh, much much deeper knowledge in terms of what needs to be learned right it's not just like superficial dancing video which lot of people do for five minutes ten minutes and you're like what what is happening okay so let's come to this right Aisher Motor if you see again operating margins are north of twenty percent. net profit margins are also crazy like minimum 15% for last 7 8 years okay that's crazy and if you go about uh, receivable days again like hardly any receivable days the inventory turnover is also great and if you see the return ratio like again very very strong return ratio so this is what helps us understand how these businesses are compounding and again if you see the reinvestment rates and everything they are able to reinvest almost like 30 to 50% of their capital back to the business that is how they compound that is how they grow and if you see technically also you will see the exact same patterns what i am talking about okay so fundamentals and technicals are so so you know 
tied up with each other you can see like it has a long term trend for here there was some time where uh, you know auto sector for 2 years was not doing good and then again it is touching almost new all time high that is what shows that it is so much strong in terms of demand also when it comes to the technical analysis part of it okay so let's come to the next business are you all ready for this and hope you are finding so much value in this particular session okay and if you want to download this excel which i showed you you can go to technofunda.co/excel you can download this excel pretty much and uh, you can start using this excel i have given this template for free and if you are not yet following me on uh, youtube please subscribe to the channel so that you can get such amazing uh, videos and also if you are liking this so far just hit a thumbs up button right now right now okay so that i know that you are liking this otherwise i can go slightly fast or i can skip some content if you are not uh, enjoying it but i want to make sure that you are learning amazing stuff over here okay now let's come to the next company which is called balkrishna industry now balkrishna industry is into tire manufacturing but unlike other tire manufacturers these are into specialized tire customized customized tire which are very difficult to replicate okay and that is where they have also got a strong competitive advantage and plus they are one of the low cost producer across the world not only just india okay so let me show you some amazing facts about this company so balkrishna industries is a case study of a low cost advantage moat this is again a debt free company you remember i told you in the earlier part that these companies generally are debt free company they have a low cost moat and this is one of the lowest cost producer not only in india but in the world so in a small market oligopoly market where there are only few players this company is like one of the lowest cost and that is why they are able to get incremental market share every year and right now it is commanding 5 to 6% market share across the globe in the segment where they operate so although you know they charge lower prices than the brands like michelin but if you think about it their margins are even higher so let me show you their margin profile so let's see if we have uh, balkrishna industry here yeah, here we go so if we go to balkrishna industry again crazy operating margins right north of 25% kind of operating margins they are operating at net profit margins around like 13 to 20% overall and then if you think about their uh, you know receivable days again very very low almost debt free company right now and their return ratios again are north of 15 to 20% this is what signifies that you know they have a pricing power they are able to do business profitably and still they are commanding great margins and great profitability so this is what you should look for when you are analyzing the businesses okay so that is balkrishna industry for you and by the way guys uh, if you want a free gift how many of you want a great gift from me just because you are uh, you know listening to this video I'll give a special gift to all of you because you are here almost uh, we are 28 minutes in this segment okay and I appreciate all of you who are watching still at at this point of time so for all of you who are serious and learners there is a gift just go to the description and uh, you know check this gift out I'll, I'll put this gift in the comment section as well as description put this code uh, formula and you'll get a uh, 5999 worth of course complimentary with this uh, particular video okay so let's go to the next one which is uh, info edge or nokri okay now nokri business is basically a example of network effects why it is a example of network effects because each new customer that comes in inside this platform the more beneficial it is for other players to find out uh, you know them in the market okay so in same way you know they also have zomato as a part of it they have 99 acres so more people reviewing on zomato it is better for other customers also right same way you know more and more people uh, who are putting their uh, profile on 99 acres it is more and more beneficial for other customer who are looking for the properties so this is like a market leading position again in job portal food delivery online real estate marketplace and lot of other things and uh, they are like acting like a vc so what they do is as soon as they get money they again start redeploying and put money into some of the 
you know emerging businesses where it can grow and they can you know ultimately sell it out and they have like 75 percent of uh, market share in online job portal and 55 percent market share on um, online real estate marketplace right so that is where they are super okay so they have like given uh, amazing returns also over uh, last couple of uh, years you can just check it out so they have like 66 percent cagr for last two years and uh, for all the listeners out here there is a special discount code also which you can use so you'll get a discount if you are uh, you know applying this code vm15 in this particular video and there are a lot of similar businesses which is called platform businesses okay so if you want to learn about all these businesses which are having strong competitive advantages and network effects you can check it out uh, this particular video which i have done for all of you okay so you can go to the comment section or description and you can check out uh, the link of the small case of green portfolio it's called high quality right price portfolio so if you want to explore these kind of uh, competitive advantages businesses you can go and check this out yeah so let's move to the next one which is uh, again a very powerful bu uh, business which i want to show all of you this is the sixth company which all of you know how many of you are buying shares and uh, if you have bought the shares you might be knowing about this company which is called cdsl okay cdsl is again a uh, example of network effect modes okay so it's also network effect and it's also like a switching cost because it is also difficult to move from say CDSL to NSDL. It is too painful a process, right? And it's only listed depository in India earns from transaction charges and multiple uh, such charges. And it is a asset light model, you know, for growing, they don't need any much of incremental capacity. You just put servers and just put all the technology in place and you can keep getting incremental revenue. And the new growth engines for these companies are like a lot of unlisted companies are coming into the sphere. And uh, you also have like insurance, which is getting demat dematerialized. And you also have like e-warehouse receipts and a lot of things which are emerging in this area. Okay. So they have 52% uh, depository business market share and they have 60% uh, market share in the KYC registration process. Okay. So that is CDSL for you. And uh, finally, we have one more type of the business, which is called uh, distribution business. Okay. So all the gas distribution companies actually are also having moats. Think about it. What kind of competitive advantage they have? Okay. They have a competitive advantage of exclusivity. Okay. Let me show you the screen and let me tell you more about it. So these businesses are case studies of exclusivity competitive advantage where even if some competition wants to enter just by the mandate and the government regulations and the contracts, nobody can enter that space immediately. Okay. So they are these kind of companies like Indraprastha gas, Mahanagar gas limited, Gujarat gas. These are market leaders in their space due to the strength in the distribution network and exclusivity. So both of these things are strong competitive advantages and they operate across commercial PNG connections, domestic PNG connection and CNG states. Again, debt free company, excellent return ratios. You can check out the Excel uh, template, which I shared with all of you. You can just download that template based on the process, which I mentioned you and uh, you can actually understand the same thought process goes over here also. Okay. Now let's go to the last one, which is the last one is this okay it's called page industries how many of you have heard about a jockey underwear just type me in the comment box if you have heard about this brand so jockey is a famous brand all of us uh, you know again uh, synonymous to very powerful product so what i want all of you right now is to type in the comment section what are the key modes of this company from whatever we have learned whether it is brand or a low cost or a uh, you know you have uh, exclusivity patents ib what what are the modes of this company i'll just again bring the slide where we discuss the modes and tell me what are the key competitive advantage whether it is a strong brand for jockey or high switching cost like if you are wearing jockey you cannot switch to other underwears whether it is network effects if more customers buy in you are getting pleasant uh, experience by just more customer coming in and buying jockey or a low cost advantage or economies of scale or patents and IP or exclusivity. Just type in the comment box. What are the key modes of 
jockey or page industries okay and just key modes i know there could be multiple of them but just type which is the key competitive advantage of uh, page industry so suresh is saying brand nishant is saying brand dhirubhai is saying strong brand we have uh, vikas uh who is saying need your views on iex i'll tell you about it what is iex doing and how it is going so when do policing exclusivities yeah so they have again exclusive agreement with the franchisee uh, for which they are selling uh yeah jayesh ajmer is saying brand vikas sharma okay i'll come to your question ramesh is saying brand and quality uh suvendu pol is network effects you might want to just type in the comments how you think uh, there is network effects but yeah predominantly i think brand exclusivity and uh, to an extent switching cost like if you are very finicky about your undergarments then probably yes but uh, also they have some bit of cost advantages because they can buy in bulk good pricing power so all these traits you can see in this particular company right but ex- exclusivity with the jockey international brand and uh, the overall brand penetration in the minds of the consumer is like two strong brands which they have and of course they have strong distribution and uh, the mbo format uh, which they have okay so hope uh, this entire uh, thought process like what we did for like almost last uh, 40 minutes or so like 40 minutes yeah we did uh, this session so hope this was value adding and now if you have any question please uh, you know type in the comment section and i'm happy to answer your questions and before that if you want to check it out uh, my book also it's uh, i've posted the link below in the description you can check out my book it's called uh, you can compound let me show you the image of this okay in fact let me just uh, highlight here yeah so you can just go to amazon and you can just go to you can compound or you can also just click on the description below and you will learn a lot of uh, important principles on investing and compounding in this book as well okay so let me know if you have any questions before we close and hope this video was super useful and a uh, lot of uh, incremental investing insights you got from this video as well okay so let me take the question of amit kulkarni right so amit kulkarni saying how to find future companies with moats in early stages okay so i would recommend all of you to watch one of my video where i've uh, you know discussed this particular concept how to outperform nifty returns this is where i've shown how you can create a core and satellite kind of portfolio construct and satellite what i do is i track price volume action okay this will give you the clue that something is changing in a particular company and then you know you can actually find growth triggers and then go deeper into it so let me show you one examples example around it right so let's take uh, uh, even uh, some recent company right so let's say bajaj finance okay so if you see bajaj finance whenever it started growing it showed a lot of price volume action in its journey right so even recently there was a good results out of it you can see there was spike in the price and spike in the volume so any trigger if you want to find in any incremental company okay you can find it through the price volume action even if you see like uh, companies like tata alexi when it just started initially long time back it also had a strong price volume action after which it it you know started becoming big compounder so you need to just find these kind of price volume action and go deeper around it right so that that is what is the starting point and then of course you can use the excel template which i have showed and you can go deeper into it so vikas sharma is asking before closing views on iex so iex is again a very good almost monopoly kind of business i think it commands some 95 98% kind of market share and uh, this is one of the biggest company in the power trading right only thing is right now there is a one more company which has been found in association with ptc india and there are other you know icici banks and all those partners so that is a new threat to the competitive advantage so in investing you need to always monitor new threats and and how they are basically breaching competitive advantages like in case of aishar motor also java and all those guys came in but they are not able to scratch the surface even for maggi you had yappi noodles and all those guys right from itc they are not able to touch the brand so you just need to test for some time whether their competitive advantages are getting breached or not that is the key to uh, see whether this 
entire trend will remain intact or not and what i do in my journey i'll just show you what i do okay i have uh, like a lot of indicators which i use and i'll just show you some crazy stuff uh, over here are you ready for seeing some crazy stuff just type yes in the comment box okay so what i simply do is this okay i use a you know blend of technicals and fundamental in, uh, indicators to tell me whether the growth is getting stopped so let me just take my video here and let me you know open iex chart okay so this itself tells me you know how entry and exit needs to be monitored like here it is all entry and then once this is getting breached and there is competition it is showing me exit also so all these red bars are exit and all these green zone is like entry so very well you can ride it from like 50 rupees to all the way like to 250 rupees and you could have exited around 240 and and avoided entire 50 percent downturn so just by using these kind of simple system by knowing fundamentals that there is competition which is coming and breaching this and again uh, by using some of these technical tools i optimize my entry and exit and same way you know i share motor when uh, you know 2018 there were some problems and issue in the auto industry it will give you exit in that particular period also right so if you see the i share motor chart from this 2009 period to 2018 you pretty much riding it and then for two years when the growth was missing you were able to exit it so this is how you know i use these uh, indicators okay and and this indicator which i showed you i also have given access to my diamond members inside my community and they pretty much use this indicator also for their uh, incremental fine tuning and decision making around entry and exits yeah so hope this uh, was useful uh, vikas for your question uh, then we have uh, vikas is saying subscribe vivek to create wealth thank you so much we can prasad is saying amazing session thank you so much we can glad you liked it uh, then we have uh, Suresh Kumar CK is uh, saying, you know, sh uh, share said in today's sessions are overvalued. So that is where I sh is, uh, told you, right? You need to, you know, learn how to also enter at right price. And if you don't know how to do that, you can even subscribe to the small case, which I mentioned, which is, you know, high quality right price. And you can take help of people who really understand how to do it. So these are not like recommendation to buy right now, but these are the companies which are having excellent runway having uh, deep competitive advantages so whenever you find it's a right price for you you can enter it so it's more like a case study of understanding the competitive advantages rather than you know giving a stock recommendation that you go and buy this right now okay superb okay what's your uh, review on maharashtra scooters i don't track it superb thank you so much uh, great that you are learning so many things Sandeep Shah is saying again you know Tata Alex is a great company it's a futuristic company so based on what it will do in future and what they will do in terms of automation 5G and AI they have a lot of growth triggers it's depending upon execution you know it how it will perform but what I simply do is I also take help of technical analysis right so let me also load uh, Tata Alex how I ride it okay so I'll, I'll just tell you how I ride it so that uh, both fundamentals and technicals are taken care and i don't need to think about whether uh, you know it's like exit perfect valuation or not okay so if you think like tata lx pretty much from 750 rupees you could have rode it till here just without thinking too much about anything else okay just by riding the trend and when this trend will falter like just how it it happened over here you will be exited by the system itself so that is the power of uh, blending fundamentals and technicals because some of these companies might remain overvalued for a long period of time and if you keep thinking about uh, valuation sometimes you might miss out the trend so it's great to enter at a right price or a cheap price but then it's also important to exit if if your thesis is not playing out or the growth is missing or the valuation is degrading you should also have some exit plan in place okay so that is where uh, you can learn about this like we can prasad is asking your views on titan pretty much again a strong company in, in the space it operates very good competitive advantages and their competitive advantage is trust you know tata and trust where you know that whatever you buy from them in terms of gold and everything it's like super super powerful okay 
Rishabh, you can just uh, avail the free course which I mentioned if you want to learn and you can uh, then, you know, incrementally see how it resonates with you. And if you want to join the community, you can also join that, right? So you can just uh, understand the entire process of what I do in terms of blending technicals and fundamentals. Go and grab this course. I've put in the link below in the description. And uh, then if you if it resonates with you and you want to learn more, you're always welcome inside my community. Yeah, superb. Vikas, thank you so much. So Nishant is asking, what is the moat in Asian paint? So Asian paints, the moat is, you know, strong distribution network and the connect with it is, which it has created with all the painting guys, you know, those who are painting painters, they have very strong connect. They give them party yearly coupons and so many things to get them into their network and, and be there. And they recommend their customers that you need to buy, you know, Asian paints. And then there is strong brand recall also. You don't want to compromise on your paint because once in a while you paint your house. So even if it is slightly costly, you want to go with the best, with the best brand, with the best quality. And that is where again, uh, they have a strong moat and the distribution you know they have very good inventory management system so that is uh, also a mode of asian paints okay awesome uh, eid perry again it's a cyclical company more of sugar and there is a ethanol play so if you want to know more i have also a video on sugar sector you know sugar sector deep dive just search with sugar sector vivek mashran you will find that video and you will learn about uh, all the sugar companies also okay awesome stuck in IGL where to exit again you know I do simple stuff for, you know as I showed you I use a simple system like in terms of IGL let me show you where I could have exited if at all I'm uh, you know invested in this so let me show you the you know working of this okay so go to IGL and you can see how powerful it gave exit okay just around like 529 rupees now it is almost 350 rupees so that is what I do to simplify things and when it will again give me you know buying trigger i'll again buy because for me you know i know that it's a great company and i can always re-enter those uh, great companies whenever it becomes good again in terms of uh, the risk reward ratios okay okay shanu is saying what are the websites or resources you should track these different types of industries so i've created a video again uh, top tools to use uh, for investing okay so just go and search top tools vivek mashrani and you will find a lot of these tools with examples with case studies okay just go for it uh so when the paul is saying always great to hear from you and relentless learning thank you so much so when great uh, that you are learning and uh sandeep shah is saying thanks a lot for your detailed answer thank you so much yeah, Vijayanta is saying, uh, which indicator? This is my own uh, customized indicator, okay? So I have prepared myself. It's not available. Only my uh, diamond members in my community get access to it, okay? So it's my own uh, proprietary indicator which I have prepared. Thank you so much. Yeah. Umang Patel is saying, uh, fundamental of any company, how to decide okay so go to this particular uh, video which i've created if you want to learn how to analyze fundamental just give me a second let me see if i can find that uh, video over here somewhere okay okay you go and search uh, fundamental analysis uh, Vivek Mashrani. Okay. You will get a video. In fact, this is the video. Yeah. Here. Okay. This is the video which you can uh, go and check it out. Okay. Fundamental analysis of stocks using Excel screener where I've also gone deep dive into how to use this Excel screener, which I gave you free. If you are not yet downloaded again, I'll give you the link if you want to check it out and uh, watch it with this video. Okay. Then you will understand how to you do your fundamental analysis also. Okay. Anything else? Any other question? Let me see. Okay, let me see. Were you on IRCTC? Again, IRCTC is a great company. Uh, again, monopoly in terms of distribution because they can only sell the tickets of, uh, you know, trains. But again, you know, I generally play this in satellite rather than playing in the core portfolio because uh, 
again there are some small risk being a psu and government can do some tweaks and they did one decision where you need to you know also be slightly careful okay which sector you are more bullish right now see i like uh, multiple sectors so chemical sector i like i have done a detailed video on that and if you want to recently also see i also did a video on uh, auto sector which is coming in my screen and and lot of traction is happening in this particular uh, you know sector and even there is a video of top 5 sectors which i like you can go and search in my channel so lot of material in terms of learning i have given on this channel so you can go and watch that okay do you keep fine tuning the machine you showed over a uh, period of time as well yes absolutely so i keep on optimizing my portfolio wherever you know the strength is missing i exit again if it needs re entry i do that uh, and some of these trends keep lasting for long time like let me show you example of uh, you know asian paints kind of companies right so even if you have uh, these kind of systems and processes in place like it will not give you exit if you like really looking for a long term chart from 2009 to 2021 it will not give you exit right so it's like super long term kind of investing which you can do by using a uh, tool so it's not like technicals are just used for short term trading and all those things you can actually use it for like super long term investing okay superb Mahendra Gole Elicon Elicon is again more of a turnaround story it's not like a core portfolio company but uh, you know it's more of a you know turnaround story if you want to just play it around you can uh, check it out okay how can we learn all techno funda so you can uh, basically access the free course which i have given to you and then if you want to learn more you can always join my investing community okay uh Ravi Kumar Kari I am a beginner uh, your recommendation for a trading account so what i use is uh, i use zerodha okay so uh, you can go to this link in fact and you can get a extra coins or all these things uh, for uh, for your referral so you can go to technofunda.co/zerodha and uh, you can get some additional uh, coins but i pretty much use zerodha for my satellite portfolio what is positional and i use uh, icsi direct for my core icsi direct and hdfc security okay so that is what i use uh, again it's up to you whatever you want to use do we really need a financial mindset for compounding you just need a learning mindset okay financial will come that is why i simplify so many things uh, for all of you to learn because i am in background engineer and i have learned all these things hard way so you can always learn financial concepts you should only have a willingness to learn and be open minded and and learn from everyone okay superb So thank you so much guys uh, for uh, being till the end and if you are still not yet subscribed to my channel please go for it and you can also follow me on Instagram my handle is Vivek Mashrani you can go and check it out and uh, that's it for today thank you so much for uh, watching this see you in the next video take care and have a amazing remaining weekend bye bye